Hey guys and girls, we're back with the uh, Tinker Kit from Elect Freaks, and we're doing Project Two today, which is the Smart Light. So we're going to need the PIR sensor, which is this one here, little sensing device to sense whether it's sort of day or night. We're going to need two cables, so two of these. You're going to need your micro bit, the breakout board which is, uh, as we saw in the last video, this one. Okay, and we're also going to need an LED. Now we can use any of the LEDs. We'll go for blue, little blue LED. So we're gonna connect the cable, well, the first cable to the LED. The second cable we connected to our PIR sensor. We're gonna plug the micro bit into the breakout board like so and then we need to connect each of these to the breakout board so we're going to plug the LED into pin 1 and again remember that you have to make sure that the the colors match the colors on the the board so the yellow goes to the yellow the red to the red and the black to the black okay and then we're going to plug the PIR sensor into pin zero. So again, yellow to yellow, red to red, and black to black. So that's all plugged in there like that. And we're ready to go. So we're going to connect up the micro bit to the PC, like so. And then we're going to head over to uh, the make code website. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're here on the make code website. I'm going to go for a new project. So we'll click new project and we'll let that load. Um, we're then going to have to add on again the, the modules that we want. So we'll go to advanced and then we want to go to extensions. In the search, we're just going to type in uh, Tinker Kit. Okay. And then it's this one here, Tinker Academy Tinker Kit. Just click it, and that adds the the programming options for the Tinker Academy. So we're going to start off with losing the on start. We we'll just drag that to the recycle bin, and we're going to keep our forever loop. Okay, and then we're going to need some logic. We're going to need an if then else. So let's have a look. What have we got? So we can say, what? Well, let's do this one. If then else. We'll plug that into there. And we're going to say if, go to the Tink Academy, and we're going to say motion detected. So if motion detected on pin zero, because we plugged the PIR sensor into pin zero, then we want it to do something. Okay, and we want it to toggle the LED at pin one and we want it to toggle it on okay else so if it's anything else we want it to toggle the LED pin 1 to off so we can duplicate that pop that onto here and have that set to off so let's just talk about our iteration so we're running a forever loop so for always if motion detected at pin 0 then turn on the light otherwise turn the light off so we'll load this up onto the micro bit and we'll see if this works. Okay, so we've got our program flashed onto the micro bit and we can see the LED light is on. And when it doesn't detect motion, we can see that there's no light on. And if I move my hand, it brings the light on. So whenever it detects motion, the light comes on. And after a few seconds of no motion, the light goes out. That's pretty cool liking that so let's just alexa office off okay so let's try again there we go okay so that is how to do a little loop to get the leds working uh, you could try a more complicated loop by adding some more wires onto different pins and programming different pins to do different things under different conditions so do have a go at that. Let me know how you get on. And please remember to like, subscribe and share.